Delivering on the dream of self-driving cars requires a lot. Endless road testing, computer modeling, and robotics expertise. And sometimes dressing up as a car seat to spook teens. This man is no mischief maker. He's part of a study into how humans can interact with driverless vehicles. The research, funded by Ford and run by the Virginia Tech Transportation Institute in August, may seem silly, but it's an effort to answer a key question. How should self-driving cars communicate with the people around them? Eliminating the driver eliminates the visual cues, eye contact, a wave of the hand, an extended middle finger that human drivers use to interact with pedestrians, cyclists, and others on city streets. Studying this is tricky because everyone testing robocars on public streets puts an engineer behind the wheel to ensure the car doesn't do something stupid. Thus, the human driver disguised to look like he's not actually there. For this study, the researchers hooked up their Ford van with a light display and a new code of the road. Two white lights moving side to side means the car will stop. A rapidly blinking white light means it's about to start up again. The idea, Ford says, is to create a new international language of sorts, or at least an industry standard for autonomous car communications. The researchers collected 150 hours and 1,800 miles of driving data. Now they'll crunch the numbers to discover if they've hit on the Esperanto of AVs. Even if nothing comes of this study, at least they've got a sweet Halloween costume.